I'll tell you what, two more questions and we'll end on a high because I've mm -hmm. brought the conversation down. Rocket League, explain. It's just the greatest video game of all time. I love God. it. I love playing a football video game where the ball isn't tied to your foot because I'm not a baby, yeah? And I can control the ball with a car because I'm not a baby. <laughs> but I'm they're crazy. bright coloured and the ball is massive like a toddler's. Yeah, it's amazing, yeah. For adults, <laughs> it's for adults, that game. I mean, I've tried it. I'm not shitting on it, but like... I'm so good at that game, Lil. I'm so good at it. Well, I played it for the first time with my brothers. I visited them in Australia after not seeing them for like four or five years, and I could kick their asses at any game at the time. Now, when I see them, like when I went there, sorry, and they introduced me to Rocket League, I'm like, what the fuck is this? And I'm playing it, and they are killing me, killing me at the game. And I'm like, who? What? Cars can't kick footballs. When I was playing football as a kid, you were told, stay away from the cars. <laughs> like, you can't kick footballs near cars. It's, it's, it, you can't do it. It's so, I'm a rebel, Lauren, and I've always been taught to rebel against, uh, you know, received wisdom, and I'm doing that on a nightly basis now. Do you still, do you still play? Yeah. You've not been tempted by any of the more contemporary uh, battle royales or any of the... Um, mm. I forget what it's I called. Don't... It's like the fighting game with Scooby, with Shaggy and Batman in it. I don't care called. about guns. I don't, I don't want to do guns or fighting, really. I just like cars and football. I just like car football. When like have you ever seen football. Shaggy or Batman with a gun? I don't know. I assumed that there was, you know, there were going to be guns in the games you were talking about. You seem like a violent sort of guy, so I don't know. I just... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I seem like a violent sort of guy. I'm just well, saying things now, well, Thank I you. I, see, I tell everyone, I tell you all perpetually, I'm a gangster, and none of you listen. None of you listen. Uh Anyways, but no, I, I, I just, I was curious because I, I, I've tried it. Um, uh, mm. I just can't. But you seem to really enjoy it. You've referenced it in a couple of your is videos. Your last, you're wasting your last question. You're oh, okay. Question. All right. Sorry. My, if you want, got, I'll answer that one if you want. I've got one. Okay. okay. All right. That's, but that would be the last one. Because one last question, question. And I expect I expect the best answer yet out of you. Okay. No. Which is, no. Uh, do you know what? I'm not going to ask the joke when I'll ask a serious one. What do you want your legacy to be then? You've you've My started legacy. from you've started from 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 a position of of you you didn't get a leg up in YouTube. There was no one that gave you backing initially. It's your idea. It's your baby. And you've grown it into this this wonderful thing, and yeah. like you're in the midst of it now. But like everything, there's going to come a point creatively or just from a personal perspective that you you you'll want to do something different or you'll want to explore new avenues because you you strike me as someone that doesn't like standing still longer than you have mm. to you, you're the sort of person that at least from what i viewed of your career and what i've seen of the content you produced you that you you know when to call time like this is enough right let's do something different what do you want to be your legacy when it comes to all of the all of the projects that you've helmed when you're done with content creation what do you think you want your legacy to be i i would like to uh, attach um uh, mechanical legs to fish and try to introduce them to to the land mammals mm. you know try to sort of um introduce different um species together and different different categories of animal uh together because i think one of the sad things about um living on the land is uh the lack of access to animals that live in the sea and i think sure there's scuba diving equipment and there are various different uh diving schools you can go to but i think sort of on a on a kind of um a very broad level if there were more interaction between uh sea creatures and land animals i think that would be a fine legacy for me indeed i think people would really enjoy that as a legacy i asked you what your legacy would be not what your pitch for a rick and morty episode would be that would be a good Rick and Morty episode, wouldn't it? It would be a very good... Um, and land a big, fish. big big Rick and Morty fan, so uh, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd still watch it. But come on! I'll tell like... you what, I'll answer that question in a different way. Go what, for it. What would I like my legacy to be? I would like to, people to remember me as the writer of Rick and Morty, because that would be cool, <laughs> right? That, is, that would be such a cool legacy. Dan Harm. That guy's got a legacy, huh? Rick and Morty, wow. 
it's, it's, amazing, pr- isn't it's it? pretty impressive but you you have a legacy in animation now and you have an uh, yeah. not me what i should do is i should say i should uh, reference the the animators because they never get talked about do they, they they don't we i was going to ask you uh are you as jealous of of alice of her skills as ian mcintosh is as jealous of you and your kit clear and obvious youthfulness I'm as jealous of Alice's skills as Alice is jealous of mine. You know, let's, <laughs> let's say that, um, which is uh, which is to say uh, a, a great deal. Uh, uh, you know, Alice is our managing illustrator, not my sister, I should say, because people when we first started working here, people thought she was my wife. We had to clear that up. Um, but uh, other than Alice, you know, we've got we've got uh, Philippe Fenner, Craig Silcock, Henry Cook, Marco Bevelacqua. What a name, huh? These guys, some of the top illustrators out there. And there's also videographers, Don, yeah, Don, the, uns- the unspoken Don, unsung Don, we should say, and Jamie working real hard all the time. These are so many people here that you don't see on the cameras that get the very little credit. Um, in many ways, I think they're my legacy. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I will, I will live on in the lives of my employees. Uh, well, I can speak to the fact that Philippe and uh, Henry, who I've interacted with on the old uh, Twitter DMs, both both lovely gentlemen and uh, both very passionate about what they do and love what they do. And that speaks to uh, a fostered culture of excellence yeah, yeah. at the TFO yeah. offices. Mm. I, I got my two questions in. So um, I, I, I feel like I just have a one last quick bonus question. Just how much do I owe you for my parody? I feel like for licensing oh, and for, uh, for taxation purposes, I should get the figure now before I have to. Yeah. Uh, it's just ticked over 30,000. 30,000? 30,000 30, views. Yeah, a million, million pounds million for 30,000 views. For my likeness, yeah. I, it's very impressive. I mean, it's... it's was it, though? I feel like I, I gave good. I gave the worst performance of the world, not only with you, but Alex and no. Seb, and the only what one I came I'll close to was you, JJ. What I'll say to you is that... <laughs> is that... Um, with the exception of JJ, for obvious reasons. Uh, everyone else, when they heard it, they thought, I don't sound like that, but everyone else, he's done really well. All of us thought that. And that's just because of our warped perception of how we sound. Uh, so I think you did a very good job, a fine job. If, if anyone is interested at all, I've been doing impressions of you guys for months, months, and I was just doing it for fun. Because I just listen to the beginning of the podcast and go hello, and I just you know, one day I was like, "Fuck this! Let's just let's just it's put it together as a." Higher than my voice, though. But here's the thing: come you on, had a very, on. very noticeable cadence when you introduced the show for a while. You've diversified it up a little bit now. Have where I? every show, there's been times where I'm fully expecting the hello and welcome to the Tifo for the mm. podcast. I'm That's the, the, the and I'm now joined by you know it was it, there's a but but a but but a but to the speech. Whereas now it's it's more. Uh, it, you seem quite eager to get down to business these days so there's a there's a right jj just for fuck's sake just get on with it and yeah. like which is still fun because some of the exacerbation is fun sometimes but i know that comes from a position of hard work alex was the easiest alex was just yeah. you just put yourself in the mind of what would eeyore do if he knew how to swear easy 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 yeah your alex, your alex was very good well was very good. he was he was the easiest to channel poor seb seb just technical difficulties and uh, JJ, loud noises, many, many loud noises. He hadn't, he hadn't quite got into this weird Sean Connery response mechanism that he's now developed. I don't know where that's come from. I know he's Scottish, by the way, but it's come from somewhere, and I don't know where it's come from. But um, yeah, I don't know. I but enjoy yeah, it though. very odd. So yeah, so listen, um, you have a uh, a life to lead, I presume. So uh, I, I do. I better let you go. So just one last thing: where can people find you? Where can people uh, buy merch of some description? And is there oh, a, no. like a monthly subscription service that you would like people to be aware of, generally speaking? I don't think so. No. No. Um, no. My shirt, by the way, that's a lovely. The logo Thanks. in particular is really. I lovely. don't think there is any um, subscription service that mm. people should should subscribe to. But uh, no need to buy anything. Don't buy anything. It's all there for free. You know, so just watch it if you want, and it... otherwise, uh, don't. Oh man, I I was I've pulled up the damn Tifo app in order to plug it. Arsenal are one one. Damn it! Are Arsenal are playing? Arsenal are playing right now. Uh, yeah. Okay. Damn well... you! Damn you, Athletic! Bringing me bad news.